Watson and in this video I'm going to show you how to block contacts on your iPhone. This will work on any iPhone that has iOS 7 and above. Let me first show you how to block a number that's just phoned you. So if a number just phones you and it's in your list of calls that recently came through, all you have to do, for example, I've got telemarketer there, what I actually did is I added that number as a contact, so it'll come up as a normal number if you don't, haven't got it in your contact. All you do is you press the information button or the I on the right hand side, so let's click on it, and then just scroll all the way to the bottom and you just select block this caller, and then say block contact. This contact is now blocked. That is the quickest and simplest way to add block numbers to your block list on iOS 7. Now let me show you how to do it through settings. So what you have to do is you have to go to settings and then you go down and you go to phone. Then in phone you go down and you go to blocked. And as you can see that number that I've now blocked is now there. But let me just unblock it because I'll show you how to do that too. So let's say we wanted to get telemarketer off the blocked list. All we do is we scroll across and we say unblock. Telemarketer, that number is now unblocked. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to add a number from here. So I just go add new and then a list of my contacts comes up. Now I'm not going to show you those contacts but what I am going to do is I'm going to go and search for telemarketer. Okay, so I've searched for telemarketer. You can see that on the side. I'm going to click on telemarketer and as you can see it's automatically added that that person to my block list. Now unfortunately doing it this way means you can only add contacts to your block list. So if you have a number that you want to block, you have to add that number to your contact list on your phone and then you'll be able to block them via this way. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment box below. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the photography folder into the apps folder. And to do this, you hold the app, the photography folder just for a few seconds and or a split second and that folder goes a different color. It goes a gray color.